No longer just a rumor, Airbus has officially unveiled its plans and design for the next generation aircraft, a groundbreaking innovation that promises to end completely Boeing's era and redefine the standards, conventions of the aviation industry in the 21st century. But what will Airbus's new aircraft look like? More significantly, why can it finish Boeing and revolutionize the industry? Let's find out. At the Airbus 2025 Sustainability Summit held in Toulouse on March 24th, the Airbus CEO revealed significant updates regarding the hydrogen-powered aircraft project. The Zero A initiative, initially set to take flight by 2035, was delayed. Estimates suggest that the postponement could last at least 5 to 10 years, raising major questions about the project's feasibility. However, the manufacturer views this as an opportunity to reassess its development roadmap and continue researching advanced technologies to support the creation of hydrogen-powered aircraft. Launched in 2020, Zeroe is part of Airbus's ambitious vision to pioneer hydrogen-powered commercial aviation. By 2025, hydrogen fuel cell technology had been identified as the preferred solution for the future of air travel. While this aircraft maker remains committed to this goal, the company acknowledges that the challenge extends beyond just technological advancements, it also involves building a comprehensive hydrogen ecosystem, including infrastructure, production, distribution, and regulatory frameworks. Achieving this vision will require global collaboration and large-scale investment. Airbus is reshaping the future of aviation with an entirely new single-aisle aircraft, promising to revolutionize how planes are designed, built, and operated. This isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a technological leap that marks the beginning of a new era in efficiency, fuel savings, and emissions reduction. So, what will this new aircraft actually look like? The first breakthrough lies in the wing, its smarter wing design, not a more complex one. Airbus is leveraging advanced aerodynamics and biomimicry to develop next-generation adaptive wings capable of optimizing their shape in real time based on flight conditions. At its Wing Technology Research Center in Filton, UK, the company is testing revolutionary wing concepts designed to increase lift, reduce drag, and significantly boost fuel efficiency. One of the most notable innovations is the folding wingtip mechanism, a solution previously revealed on the Boeing 777X, which allows for extended wingspans while remaining compatible with airport gates. This enhances flight efficiency and opens the door for longer, more aerodynamically efficient wings, pushing the boundaries of aircraft performance. Second, beyond aerodynamics, Airbus is also making groundbreaking advancements in engine technology aiming to cut fuel consumption by 20% compared to current models. In collaboration with CFM International, the European manufacturer is actively working on the RISE, Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines program, which focuses on an open fan engine design. This no nacelle configuration optimizes fuel combustion efficiency. This technology not only reduces fuel burn, but also paves the way for the future of aviation propulsion. The first test flights of this open rotor system are expected by the end of the decade, forming the foundation for Airbus's next-generation single-aisle aircraft. This marks a crucial step towards sustainable engines, combining optimized performance with lower emissions. The engine speculation for the new Airbus aircraft has been answered. What do you think about this engine? Share your thoughts with us. But the manufacturer is not stopping at traditional engines. The company is also pioneering hybrid electric and fully electric propulsion systems. Through the EcoPulse project, in collaboration with key industry partners, the aircraft maker is exploring advanced lithium-ion batteries and solid-state battery technology to support ground taxiing and critical onboard electrical systems. Airbus is also committed to utilizing 100% sustainable aviation fuel, a key initiative in reducing aviation's environmental impact. If widely adopted, SAF has the potential to cut carbon emissions by up to 80% over an aircraft's life cycle, paving the way for a more sustainable future for air travel. Third, beyond propulsion advancements, Airbus is developing a new generation of lightweight yet durable materials. Research efforts are focused on bio-based composites and highly recyclable thermoplastic polymers, which contribute to weight reduction and improved fuel efficiency. The Multifunctional Fuselage Demonstrator Project has already shown promising results with carbon fiber, reinforced thermoplastic composites, marking a breakthrough in aircraft design. Non-stop there, 
The European aircraft maker isn't just transforming aircraft physically, the company is also integrating cutting-edge digital technologies into its operational systems. Automation and artificial intelligence AI, will play a crucial role in optimizing flight operations, maintenance, and passenger experience. These technologies enable real-time data analysis, allowing for predictive maintenance alerts before issues arise, minimizing downtime, and maximizing operational efficiency. AI-driven enhanced flight controls will also assist pilots in operating aircraft more efficiently and safely, setting new standards for next-generation aviation. Why has Airbus delayed revealing the design despite launching the project in 2020? But wait a minute, I'm so glad you're here. If you're also an aviation enthusiast, let's stay on this journey together for a long time. Don't forget to show your support by hitting like, share, and subscribe so we can create a meaningful adventure together. Airbus's decision to delay unveiling the design of its hydrogen-powered aircraft, despite initiating the project in 2020, is a strategic move to ensure feasibility and effectiveness. First, it need to assess the aircraft's commercial viability. Before launching an entirely new aircraft model, the manufacturer must confirm its commercial potential. This consideration extends beyond manufacturing capabilities to market demand and airlines' willingness to invest. A hydrogen-powered aircraft would require airlines to overhaul their operational systems, including maintenance, refueling, and airport infrastructure, if the market is not ready or the economic benefits are unclear. Releasing a design prematurely could pose significant financial and reputational risks. Therefore, the manufacturer needs additional time to evaluate market reactions and collaborate with airlines to define practical requirements such as range, operational costs, and infrastructure compatibility. Next, one key reason Airbus has delayed revealing its design is that hydrogen-related technology is still in development. A hydrogen-powered aircraft requires more than just an engine change. It demands breakthroughs in fuel storage, hydrogen supply systems, and safety standards. Current liquid hydrogen storage technology has limitations, as hydrogen must be kept at extremely low temperatures, is negative 253 degrees Celsius, requiring advanced engineering solutions to ensure safety and efficiency. Additionally, hydrogen turbine engines and fuel cells are still being refined to achieve optimal performance. If the manufacturer were to unveil its design before these technologies are fully developed, the aircraft could quickly become outdated or fail to meet performance expectations. Furthermore, the weight of the fuel cell system is one of the biggest barriers to hydrogen-powered aircraft. Current fuel cell systems are quite heavy, reducing flight efficiency and passenger capacity. Airbus aims to cut the weight of fuel cells by 20%, which would improve range and operational performance. Achieving this goal requires time for research and testing of new materials that are both durable and lightweight. This aircraft maker also needs to validate the system's real-world performance through testing before integrating it into the final design. If the design is revealed too early, it may risk having to make significant changes later as fuel cell technology advances. Finally, even if Airbus successfully designs a hydrogen-powered aircraft, its actual implementation still depends on the hydrogen fuel ecosystem and regulatory framework. Currently, most airports worldwide lack the infrastructure for storing and refueling hydrogen-powered aircraft. Additionally, safety standards and operational regulations for hydrogen aircraft are not yet fully established. It needs time to collaborate with governments, aviation organizations, and industry partners to establish a suitable regulatory framework. This includes setting safety standards, promoting investment in hydrogen fuel infrastructure at airports, and seeking government support to facilitate the adoption of this technology. Before a clear regulatory framework is in place, hydrogen aircraft, even if developed, would face significant challenges in entering commercial service. In a highly volatile aviation market, where every move can determine winners and losers, there is only one way for a manufacturer to break through, diversification and offering what competitors have yet to achieve. Airbus understands this well and is making a bold bet on its next generation narrow body aircraft, an ambitious project aimed at reshaping the game. Airbus head of future programs. Bruno Fischifu said, we have the most advanced aircraft portfolio in the market and the A321 XLR is at the very forefront of today's single aisle aircraft technology. Now we are taking the best of what we've done and preparing for another jump to make our single aisle aircraft even better and pioneer the future of flight when the time is right. 
Previously, Boeing hinted at the Boeing 797 program, a highly promising aircraft that could potentially surpass the A321 XLR and revolutionize the mid-market segment. The aviation industry buzzed with speculation as this aircraft, if realized, could fill the gap between the 737 MAX and the 787, posing a direct threat to Airbus. However, this project has yet to materialize, and Boeing still lacks a direct competitor to counter the A321 XLR's dominance on mid-range routes. So while Airbus continues to widen the gap with more efficient long-haul and mid-range aircraft, why hasn't Boeing introduced a new aircraft model to counter the European rival? There are several reasons why Boeing has not moved forward with the 797 project. First, the company has faced immense financial pressure following multiple setbacks, including the 737 MAX crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, and production issues with the 787 Dreamliner. These challenges forced the U.S. giant to prioritize financial stability over investing in an entirely new aircraft program. Additionally, it has wasted so much time on the 737 MAX and 777X, it leads limiting resources for building a new aircraft. However, before Boeing could officially confirm the fate of the 797 program, Airbus unexpectedly changed the game with an entirely new contender. More than just an upgraded version, it is aiming for a completely different design, one that promises to reshape the competition in the narrowbody segment. There is no longer a chance for Boeing. It risks losing its only chance to reclaim an advantage over Airbus, an increasingly bold competitor that shows no signs of slowing down. Airbus is aggressively innovating with its ambition for its commercial hydrogen aircraft. This is not just a new aircraft model, but a complete transformation in aviation technology, requiring new infrastructure, refueling systems, and industry-wide adaptation. Despite the challenges, this aircraft maker believes hydrogen is the key to drastically reducing carbon emissions in the future. Meanwhile, Boeing has taken a more cautious approach. Instead of focusing on hydrogen, the company is placing its bets on sustainable aviation fuel. SAF offers the advantage of being compatible with existing jet engines without requiring modifications to aircraft fuel systems or airport infrastructure. However, SAF supply remains limited and expensive, making airlines hesitant to transition. If Airbus successfully commercializes hydrogen technology before SAF becomes widely available, its rival risks falling behind in the race to reduce emissions. And this also means a direct challenge to Boeing. In the coming decade, this company will not only face pressure for innovation, but also have to compete against a formidable rival, an entirely new Airbus aircraft featuring advanced wings, a redesigned fuselage, and most notably, massive open rotor engines with an ultra-high bypass ratio. With superior fuel efficiency, a higher maximum payload, and a range surpassing the A321 XLR, this could be the strongest blow yet to Boeing's narrow-body lineup. The U.S. aircraft maker, still relying on designs rooted in the 707 platform from 70 years ago, now faces a difficult equation. If it fails to introduce a groundbreaking design soon, it risks falling behind. It's time for the U.S. manufacturer to abandon outdated approaches and embrace a true design revolution. The discussion is heating up. What do you think Airbus will name this new aircraft? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining us. Wishing you safe and inspiring flights.